Hey, this is Dan with StarReviews.com, and today we're going to review the As Seen on TV product, the One Touch Can Opener. They make a couple claims in the infomercial that we're going to put to the test today and see how it stacks up versus how they say it stacks up. First things first, they say it's One Touch, it's battery operated, put it on the can, press this button, it will go around the can by itself without you having to touch it, and it's going to outperform your manual can opener. I'm not so sure. They also said the lid can go back on the can and that the lid is not sharp. We're going to see how this thing performs with a couple different sized cans and we're going to give you our honest review of how the One Touch can opener really performs. For our first test, we have this can of corn, which is about the average size can, same size as a soup can if they didn't have those peel lids, but we're going to see how the One Touch performs opening this can of corn. Let's take a look. So you place it right on the can, you lock it in place, you hit this button, it's supposed to grab the can as it did, start walking around. So far I'm saying it performs pretty well, it's going pretty quickly, seems to be opening the can. It has a magnetic top so that the lid is going to be stuck to the one touch when it's through cutting. Let it run its cycle, works pretty well. The uh, lid is attached to the one touch through the magnet, comes off easily, one touch can go away back in the drawer, can is open. Seems like it's not too sharp but we're going to have another test for that coming up. Okay, so for the first test, the One Touch got through that can of corn pretty easily and quickly. But we all know that not all cans are the same size. So what we did was we picked up a couple different size cans and we're going to really see how this thing performs on cans of all sizes. What we're going to start with is a small can of tomato paste. It obviously has a smaller diameter lid. The One Touch is a big unit. Let's see how it goes around. So again, just put it on, hit the button, starts up. It's going around this actually very quickly. Again, that magnetic top is going to hold the top of the can onto the machine when it's done. Okay. What we did notice was it did take the lid off. It had a little bit of a part where it missed. There's a little, little piece sticking up. That could be sharp. Who knows if that could get into your food. So I'm going to say it did take the lid off. It wasn't 100% perfect on this small diameter can of tomato paste. Now let's move to a larger can. Here we have a can of pineapple juice. Make sure that this thing is fully through its cycle. It needs to run its 20 second cycle no matter what size can you use. It has this little button here to reset itself. You push that down, it will reset itself and the motor will turn off. That's how you know you're ready to use this again. Put it onto the can, press it down. Starts going around this can pretty well. Again, pretty quick. Uh, I'm not sure if that's going to beat somebody using a manual can opener, but it's probably pretty close, so it's not going to really take too much of your time. It's less bulky than that thing that sits on your countertop. That is true. They do say that in the infomercial. It's through the lid. Again, it has a problem. It leaves probably on this can, I would say, about a centimeter of can still attached. The lid is still attached to the can. Uh, the motor has run its cycle. So I'm going to say that it, it's perfect for normal soup cans, cans of corn. On different size cans, it might not be the best thing. You might be still better off using your manual can opener. Okay, so we've all seen the One Touch perform. Now, let's try to disprove something that they do in the infomercial or see if it is really true. They say that this lid is not sharp and it won't pop this balloon. We have two balloons here. One is blown up a little less and one is blown up a little more. Obviously the one that's stretched more with more air probably will pop easier. Let's start with the smaller balloon and see how it does. Our honest opinion, this lid really is not sharp to the touch. You'd have to probably go at a decent length to cut yourself with it. So as I just roll the lid around the balloon, it's not going to cut this balloon. Put a little pressure on it. It's not going to pop the balloon. This lid is not sharp. But on the infomercial I don't mention, but on the product they have this sticker that says the cut edge of the can may be sharp and should be treated with care. So since the lid isn't sharp because it cuts it on the side, it's going to leave you with a sharp can. So let's see if that will pop this. So just so you know. Nope. Although it is, it's sharper than the lid, 
it still isn't sharp enough that it's just going to cut you if you happen to come in contact with it. With this balloon that isn't blown up that well. With a balloon that has a lot of air in it, which really doesn't replicate your skin, your skin does have some cushion to it, it's not taut on your hand, it probably could pop this. So no to the can and its sharp edge. No to the lid either. So even though on the warning sticker provided on the unit they do say that the can can be sharp, we really found that neither piece, the lid or the can, was left too sharp that it would be dangerous for you to touch. Okay, we've put this one touch camper into the test. We've taken all the tests they did in their marketing infomercial and gave you our take on a real life test. They're trying to sell product. They're not going to point out the downfalls of their own product on their infomercial. Starviews.com is trying to give you an honest review of how this product really works. The One Touch Can Opener is a pretty good product. As you saw on the can of corn, it worked flawlessly. On the small can of tomato paste, it had a little trouble at the end there. And on the large can of pineapple juice, it left us with a little piece that we had to wiggle the lid back and forth to free it. It works pretty well. On odd shaped cans, some cans that are more egg shaped than perfectly round, it might not outperform your manual can opener. Now, this thing's going to store easily in your drawer next to your manual can opener. It's not like it's competition where it's bulky and has to sit up on your countertop. A couple of nice features that it does have is that magnet on the back to hold the lid to it when you're done cutting. Some downfalls that we noticed though, the back of this is not going to open up that egg shaped can and also on the infomercial they claim that the lid fits right back onto the can. Out of the three cans that we cut, the lid doesn't just go back onto the can perfectly and you can't store it in your refrigerator like that if it's something that's going to go bad. So we say that that's a little thing of a push that they're trying to sell product with. In our opinion, if you use this to open your can, you're still going to have to take that contents of that can and put it into something else to put it in your refrigerator to store it or cover it up. Starviews.com says that the One Touch Can Opener is a pretty good product. We're going to give it a 5.5 out of 6 star rating. And if you want to see how we stack up other products, you can check out more reviews at Starviews.com.